Hi and welcome, Simon here and hope you're doing well. In this video, I'll be upgrading a secondary drive on a Dell Inspiron 16 model 7610. This is the M.2 SSD drive model 2230. It's a tiny little mini one and the computer allows you to add a secondary for that. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, the first thing you need to do is to get a Phillips screwdriver and start removing the screws. The screw here in the top right corner, it does not come off. So just leave, leave it like that. Here on the top in the middle, it does come off. And the top left corner screw, that screw do not come off. Okay. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit for you guys. I'm gonna remove some of the screws here. If you're interested to upgrade your M.2 drive, go ahead and check the link down in the description below. I'll direct you to either Amazon or eBay where you can find the replacement parts or the, the right hard drive in this matter, okay? So once you have removed all the screws, the next step is to go ahead and open up the uh, back cover here. Uh, because the screw does not come off, it gives you a, a little gap here to stick your plastic prying tool. You want to go ahead and stick it in and start prying off the back cover. Just like that. And then just remove the entire cover here. Okay. Once you have removed the cover, you can see that the uh, SSD drive have two slots. The main slot is already been used by a full size SSD, uh, M.2 SSD. That is the full size of it. Okay, as you can see. And then here is the mini one. Remove the screw, remove this heat sink. That is the thermal pad, which is allowed you to allows the uh, M.2 drive to conduct the heat away, okay? So you want to slide in this M.2 here. Okay, like such. This is the uh, 2230 model. And what you want to do is align that little screw directly on top the M.2 drive and put that final screw here on the top. Okay, once you have done with that process, you can go ahead and close up the uh, back cover. And then put all the screws back together. Now, the computer is not going to see the drive until you initialize and format the drive. So you want to go to disk management, right click, go to uh, right click on the start menu, go to disk management, and then initialize that M.2 drive before you can start using it. You need to format the drive first before you can use it. Alright, hope this video is helpful. Thanks for watching. Until next time, bye now.